Hi, this is Dr. Nikki and I'm here today to talk with you about the fluencies that are required in the Common Core State Standards. Each grade level has a fluency criteria. Kindergarten is through five. So kids need to learn how to add and subtract through five. Now, you have kindergartners that can do much more than that, and of course you're going to encourage them to do much more than that and support them in doing much more than that. But when you're talking about a grade level fluency, kindergarten is numbers through five, addition and subtraction through five. First grade is addition and subtraction through uh, 10 with exposure through 20, but first grade criteria is that kids can really understand uh, addition and subtraction through 10. Second grade is fact fluency through 20. Now it's really interesting because in the literature, Basic facts have been considered, you know, facts through 0 through 18, but now in the Common Core it's through 20, so students really have to understand their basic facts through 20. And then they're also supposed to have fluency, paper and pencil fluency, with um, addition and subtraction through 100. So you want to work on that. Um, and, and that actually comes up as a standard in place, in place value rather than in operations and algebraic thinking. Through 20 is in operations and algebraic thinking, and then through 100 is in the base 10 uh, place value standard. In third grade, the fluency is addition and subtraction through 1,000, as well as multiplication and division within 100. So there's two fluencies that you have to really think about. And one of the things is that a lot of third graders do not have that fluency even through 20. I mean, I'm talking about automaticity where they can just tell you the answer. I'm not talking about when you say what is, you know, um, 19 plus 26 that they have to go through all of these kind of um, different things to get the answer, but that they can say, oh, I'm going to round 19 up to 20, and if it's 19 plus 26, then it's going to be 45, because I just, I took one away from the 26, and I gave it to the 19, and I made it 20 plus 25. And so they want kids to really have fluency, but to be able to do that kind of mental math quickly based on strategies that they have. Fourth grade fluency is multi-digit addition and subtraction. So students really need to have that multi-digit multi addition and subtraction down under their belt solidified. And when, again, I would go back to saying I see a lot of fourth graders counting on their fingers when you say what's eight plus nine. So you're going to think of like what were the fluency levels before this grade and have the kids mastered those and then what is the fluency level for this grade. Fifth grade fluency is multi-digit multiplication. And so you're going to want to think again, you know, if they don't know how to multiply 3 times 5, then do they know how to multiply 36 times 25, right? So when you're thinking of your fluency levels, one of the things I would do is at the beginning of the year, give a fluency test that incorporates all of the fluency criteria for all of the grade levels up to the grade level that you're at and see where your kids are because that's going to tell you where you need to start. All right. Thank you, and as always, happy mathing.